Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog, another day in my life. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Erica, if you are new here. And ah, today's another, I think I have a piece of hair that's like driving me crazy. Today's just another Tuesday for me. I like to, if you, if you don't know, I like to vlog most days, most weeks on uh, Tuesday and Thursday because those are the days that I don't have to edit. So I have a schedule that I like to stick to. It helps me to be able to get out three videos every week for you guys. And of course, if there's different things going on like this week, I don't always vlog on those exact days. So t this week I'm vlogging today, Tuesday, but I'm also vlogging tomorrow, which is Wednesday because um, it's Madison's birthday tomorrow and I, I love to have like a birthday vlog for each of our birthdays. It's just, um, well, the reason I started YouTube and vlogging is to have kind of like a digital scrapbook. If you don't know, if you haven't been around to hear me say that, that is why I started YouTube in the first place. Ah, sorry, it's bugging me. Um, so it's for our family to have like a scrapbook of you know all the special occasions holidays birthdays things like that just special family times so <laughs> i'm vlogging tomorrow for her birthday it's going to be a lot of uh, prepping and then of course actual actually celebrating her birthday but today i do have some birthday things i need to work on she is going to come over tomorrow she's taking tomorrow off and she's going to come over and help me like decorate and we're going to like ice the cake i need to bake the cake today just because i don't want to have to my lips are so chapped. I don't want to have to bake it tomorrow too. That's just going to take a couple hours of my day and I don't want to have to do that. So I think I'm going to try and do that today. And I want to get her gifts wrapped. If you watched a previous vlog, it might be the one right before this, or it might be the one before that where I did like a birthday haul. I showed you all the things that we had picked up for her birthday. But today I'm going to show you her actual presents because this video will come out after her birthday in case I didn't want her to see anything and before that, but I know that this birth, this vlog will come out later. So I'll go ahead and show you all the gifts I got her and I'll show you, I might've shown you some. Did I show you some? I don't even remember. It doesn't matter, I'll show you again. But I'm just making her like a small cake, like a little round cake and I only have one pan that um, like that. So I have to like bake it, let it cool, take it out, bake another one, let it cool, you know. So I'm gonna try to time it right because I've got a busy day. I've got to run to the store. I have to get some groceries for Madison. She's just so busy today. I told her I'd run to the store. I also have to, well, I'll just have to run some errands. And then we have soccer tonight and I am trying to get things done in between all those. So welcome back to another day in the life. So I'll go through and show you the things that we got her for her birthday. I got her this little llama card because she loves llamas. I think she loves, Jackson loves llamas. I don't know. It's cute. It was funny. I just thought it was cute. Um, I love to get my cards either at Dollar Tree or in the 98 cent section at Walmart because why do you want to pay $7 for a card when you can get it for way cheaper? So this was in the 98 cent section and I thought it was cute. So um, I'm going to take this out and show you what this is. This is something she saw at Hobby Lobby when she was with me and I said that I would just get it for her so it was ten dollars but it was in the spring section so we got it for six dollars this is like a little glass it looks like a bubble gum machine you could put bubble gum in it or M&Ms or whatever I couldn't find the peanut M&Ms which peanut butter M&Ms which are her favorite so I just put in some mini Swedish fish I got a big bag of these from five below she loves Swedish fish so and it's real nice it's heavy it's glass really nice so that was one thing she knows about and I just put that in this little bag I always keep bags so I just go in my stash and find one and I um, had that little bow so I just put that on the front and then I got her a gift card to her favorite consignment shop Plato's closet so I'm gonna put that in here too and then she's got plates that match this so I found this in my tissue paper stash and I thought that'd be cute and it would match you know And then I picked up some snacks at Sam's for her because, you know, she's an adult buying her own food and I thought this would be fun for her to have <laughs> just a bunch of snacks. She loves these Pillsbury cookies. 
um, 28 pouches and then she loves 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 these king size pouches of fruit snacks these are actual size they're massive and Jackson and her both and they're hard to find we but I found them the other day and I was like oh my goodness I need to get a box for her to take to her house so she can have her own snack stash if all her friends don't eat them because they clear out her cabinets <laughs> but um, anyways two big uh, snack boxes I think so I remember now that I already showed this in another vlog so if you saw that you're seeing it again but this was kind of like her big gift I got her a pillow of Oliver because Oliver is her dog she loves him misses him every day yes she does <laughs> he knows I'm talking about him but she can't take him where she lives and she wouldn't anyways but so I got her a pillow so she can take him with her and it freaks Belle out but anyway, that's cute. I think I do remember now showing this in a past vlog, but those are her gifts. So tomorrow we're having, um, well, you'll, if you see that vlog, we're going to have some friends over and celebrate and she loves playing games. So it'll be like a game night. It'll be really fun. So I've got some chicken in the crock pot. I'm going to be making chicken tacos tonight, hopefully before we go to the uh, to soccer practice because that way we don't have to wait until after to eat. Crockpot meals are good for soccer nights just so that we can eat whenever it's ready and we don't, I don't have to like do a lot in the evening. So anyway, I think right now, oh, I do need to go outside and spray paint a table, Elena, an old table that she has. She wants to put it on her deck or she's had it on her deck, but she wants me to spray paint it black. She got some new chairs and I've had it for like two weeks and told her I would do it. So I think I'm going to spray paint that now and then when we go to soccer, I'll bring it and give it to her. And then after that, I'm going to run my errands, think at Jackson, you know, and then it all starts. So I'm in my future pantry room, but right now we're kind of just using it as like a storage for extra food and things like that. This is all like for the party and yeah. But anyway, I have this in here. I'm just going to use this charcoal Rust-Oleum chalked paint. I don't, I don't have a lot, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the whole thing. But um, I know that she said at least she wanted the top painted black so hopefully I have enough to do that goodness gracious it is cold <laughs> we're gonna be wearing our parkas for practice tonight oh my word this wind <sighs> wow Okay, I had enough to do the top. She said she didn't really care about the legs. It didn't really matter to her. I guess I did get some there, but maybe we'll just paint those white or something. Um, but anyway, I think I'm gonna do a coating of, or two of polycrylic on the top for her. Anywho, got that done. And I'm gonna run my errands now. So, ah! Thankfully my camera was not on the tripod. Cause you know what? I've done that before and broken cameras. Um, I gotta be more careful. <laughs> I'm gonna run my errands. Okay, <laughs> whoops, sorry. I feel like this is how it always goes. I'm like rushing around, grab the camera, here you go. Letting the dogs out, but I took my camera with me. I was going to take y'all along and I just didn't pull it out. I forgot to pull it out, it was crazy. But I'm home now, it's like 3.30, I think. I wanna start working on the cakes because I need to get those done. You need to go back out. Of course, Belle needs to go back out. She didn't want to when Ollie just did, but now she wants to. But um, before I start on that, I'm gonna use this Rust-Oleum chalked, it's like a matte clear fin finish for the top of the table out there. I'm gonna do that and let that dry. And then I'll do like a little mini grocery haul. I got a few things for Madison's birthday. I got oh, you're zoomed in now that I got all the animals taken care of they're they were all crying when to go out when to eat all that so I'm gonna unpack and I'll show you the couple things I picked up
Okay, so first of all, I went by my post office box. <laughs> this is full. Crazy. Um, but I, I picked up a few things for Madison's party, so I like planned what we were going to have. We're actually going to go out to dinner. She wants to go. I think I told you all this in another vlog. Anyway, we're going to go out for pizza, and then we're going to come back here, and some people are going to come over. So, I wanted to have, like, food, snacky foods, but then some of the people, I think it's going to be their actual dinner. So, I don't know. I, I had bought a lot of stuff, and then I went back today and kind of, like, got a little extra so that I can make it, make sure it's enough. I think there might be, she's, she's having, like, three friends over, and then just, like, our immediate family, and then I guess my mom. So, I don't know. I just want to make sure. I'd rather have too much food than not enough food, and we'll eat it eventually anyways. So, I'm going to do like a snack board, snackerty board, um, with vegetables and fruit. I have grapes, so I got strawberries. I got some carrots, a cucumber, just to cut up, and we'll put some dip with it. And I also got a big bag of chips for the dip. And then I got a couple bananas, but I ate one. I was hungry. Got some more cereal. I just got a little thing of flour. I don't use this flour, but I need, I'm going to be making cookies. And she loves chocolate chip cookies. It's like her favorite. So I got these like um, Nestle Toll House chunks. And I thought I would add some of these too. I might double the batch. That's why I went ahead and bought these. Just to make a bunch of cookies because these guys can eat. So... Um, and then I got like a family size meatballs, but I just uh, got like a regular size. I'm going to see if I need to add that too. And then we're going to have cherry Sprite because that's her favorite. But I also got this limeade. This is my favorite. And I'll, I'll put this out too. So if anybody wants cherry limeade. Then I got a sponge. I just needed a new sponge. I looked everywhere for like curling ribbon for her gifts. This was the only one I could find at Walmart. And then I got this like big tray. It's kind of like in the summer dishes, but it would be so good for like a charcuterie board or I could just use this so many times. And so I was like, you know what? Three bucks. I'm just going to buy it. I'll use it. I know I will use it. I might put like fruits and fruits and crackers and cheese and stuff on this tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But this is super handy. And there's Belle um, making noise with the tapping her tag on the bowl. A lot of people ask me what that noise is. <laughs> it's her. My chicken is smelling really good. I'm going to take that out pretty soon. It's going to be ready and I'll just add my stuff to it. I'll show you what I'm going to add. Super easy. So for my chicken tacos in the crock pot, I only put two chicken breasts in there. So I'm using one can. This is like Rotel, um, to diced tomato and green chili, and then a packet of taco seasoning and with the juices and everything. And it just makes it so easy and delicious. I might add cheese dip too. I'll make my white cheese dip with the sliced white American and I don't have any green chilies, but there there are green chilies in this. So I might just mix that in too. And then you mix in like half and half with it and some cumin. And we'll have tacos before we go to soccer. But I need to get all this stuff unpacked and get my first cake in the oven so that I have time to do both. It is, oh, let's see, it's 335, so.
is wrapped. I'll have to get Marion and Jackson to sign the card and then we'll put it all together. But I really wanted some really cute wrapping paper. I looked at TJ Maxx. They always have the best, but I just, wrapping paper was like $5. I did not want to pay that much. So I had both of these. Usually I try to do like a theme, something they'd really love, but you know, this is fine. It says happy birthday. She'll like it. It's colorful. And I figured it was better to just use what I had on hand. Marion um, had bought these for my birthday or something. So anyway, those are wrapped. One less thing I got to do tomorrow. All right, just got the first cake out. I'm gonna let that cool for a little while. Then hopefully I have time to bake the second one. And I shredded my chicken. I always just shred it by hand so I can make sure there's nothing gross in it. And of course the dogs get the scraps so they know. And then Clyde, he's funny. He's always like, where's mine? So I gave him the plate to lick the little pieces off. He's so cute, he thinks he's a dog. So now I'm just gonna add the Rotel and the taco seasoning. And I did not drain that. And if you're doing more chicken, obviously you wanna add more Rotel. I like my chicken pretty dry. I know it's kind of strange, but um, if I'd have left the juices in here when I cooked them, you know, they would just mix in. I just kind of don't, I, you know, I'm weird about my meat. Marion would be totally fine with that, but it isn't dry. It's definitely not dry when I, when I drain the juices. 
And then I think I am going to make some cheese dip and just mix that in with it and let it, let it cook together. Then we'll put them in taco shells. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. I've made this many times before. Um, I'm just going to do a few slices if I can get it open because it's not a whole lot of chicken. So. Okay, so we ate dinner. Um, I've made these chicken tacos for years and they're so good, but I've never added the cheese to them. I, re I did see a recipe where you you use like Velveeta and you add add it to it and I was, I've was i never made it like that and I've always wanted to, but I don't think I'll do that next time. Definitely didn't need that cheese. I usually just put shredded cheese on top and I don't know, don't think I'm a fan of that, but the chicken by itself with the Rotel and the taco seasoning is so good and such an easy meal and you can actually throw those in with the chicken when you cook it all day I just don't like to do that because I like to take the chicken out and drain all the juice and stuff I'm trying to talk okay just a second anyway my, my cake is cooling the second cake is out and cooling we're gonna leave in about 10 minutes to go to soccer Jackson is not feeling good he actually wasn't feeling good this morning he has like a sore throat Madison had a sore throat and now he has sore throat and his nose has just been running constantly even had a bloody nose earlier but I told him he can he loves to play goalie and that's when he practices anyway so I told him he can play goalie and, you know there won't be like running and stuff and then obviously if he doesn't feel good he will sit out but he's gonna come and it's cold I'm like gonna wear my jacket like I'm gonna take my jacket over my sweatshirt because it's so windy it's that's what makes it so cold like it's so windy out here I don't want to be stuck out there and yeah you know at least it's sunny and beautiful it's just that wind but I got Elena's table finished so I'm gonna take that over to her it's not the best but you know it's just an old table she got it like goodwill or something she's had it on her porch for or her balcony for a long time and she just wanted me to paint it so yeah again in my kitchen <laughs> we're back from practice and I have a battle wound I got kicked in the face hard well kicked the ball got kicked and hit me in the face hard I had on my sunglasses so it cut me thankfully I was wearing them because I think it would have I don't know would have hit my eye more but and thankfully it wasn't a kid <laughs> that got hurt but Anyway, I've almost got my 10,000 steps too. I'm like 9,600 and something. So hopefully by bedtime I'll have them. I love soccer days because it gets me my steps. But um, I'm going to clean up the kitchen now. And um, Ollie wants in, of course. Like I was saying, every time I pull out my camera, I have to let them in or let them out. I'll be back. Anyway, um, I need to, I'm thinking I might make the cookies for Madison's party tonight because it's a lot and... 
it's gonna be a busy day tomorrow, so I might, but I do need more butter. Um, I'm gonna make chocolate chip cookies because that's like her favorite cookie, and she really wanted me to make some. And I think I'm gonna double the batch. So I think I told you this already. Yes, I did. Um, but it's hard to remember what I've told y'all, what I've told other people. <laughs> well, it's hard to remember it all. And if you don't see every video, then you don't hear me repeating it. But if you do, then I repeat myself a lot. But I will link the recipe down below if I can. It's just a recipe that a friend of mine posted on Facebook and I like screenshotted it a while back and she said they're like the best chocolate chip cookies. She's been making them forever and they always turn out so good. The only thing I don't have is walnuts and I'm not going to put those in it because Madison wouldn't want them in it. So I'm sure that they're still going to be amazing. So I'm going to use half chocolate chunks and half chocolate chips which should just make it better, right? And... I'll let you know how they are because, I mean, it's chocolate chip cookies. You can't, can't really mess them up. But she said it's like the best recipe. And I've tasted some pretty good ones. And I was going to make my cookie bars that I make every year or all the time. But and Madison really loves those. It's kind of like a blondie, kind of like a cookie and a blondie mixed together. But I thought I'd try something different. And I think you can, it says you put like one and a half teaspoons. I don't know. They, I think they're kind of big. So like a big gourmet cookie would be nice. So... That is what I'm gonna do now. It's 7.30, Jackson's doing homework and bath and all that. And I'm just gonna clean up and then make the cookies. There's a close up of my eye. It does look like it's bruised. It's like, I can I can feel that it's swollen a little bit cause it's kind of like blocking my view. Like I can see something it's bugging me. <laughs> So I just cleaned out my refrigerator, so I have a ton of stuff here. I'm one of those people that like, like we eat leftovers always. We love leftovers, but if they sit in my refrigerator more than like three days, they gotta go. So I do not let stuff sit in there. It's just, it's just something I do. I, I can't, I can't deal with that. So anyway, I just cleaned it out. So I've got lots of containers. It was like from last weekend and Easter and all that. They, they had to go. So. I got a lot. Hopefully this is one load because I want to run the dishwasher tonight because I need my crock pot tomorrow morning. So hopefully this will fill it up. Do you recall when we were young? Running from all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind mm. The stories I've been told They never seem to lead my mind mm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time All right, so I've got the dishes clean, wiped the counters off. Now I'm gonna mess my kitchen back up again making cookies, but I'm just trying to pace myself, you know. I'd rather do it tonight than tomorrow. My hair is looking lovely tonight. It was so windy out there and so cold. Uh, but I already told you that. <laughs> okay, so if I can't actually find the link to this recipe, then I will just type it out in the description box if it's a good one. If it's just your average chocolate chip cookie recipe, I'll just pass and tell you just do what you've always done. If this is exceptional, then yeah, I will. But, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make one batch and I think two batches would be too much at one time. So I'll do one, let them bake, and then I'll make the other one while that one is baking. And this, I don't know how many, it doesn't say how many it, ma it makes, but I, it says roll them, form them into one and a half inch balls. So that's a pretty good size cookie. So we'll see, we'll see how many they make. And then I guess then I'll decide if I'm gonna make a second batch. Time has gone and I grew up. I somehow made it through without losing sight. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out From the dark The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And 
this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time of uh, dough. I knew when it said three and a half cups of flour that this was gonna be a huge recipe. So I still have all this dough and I made 16 huge cookies. I thought they were pretty huge. I mean, they're probably gonna spread out to be like really big. So, uh, and I don't know if I made them too big, but we'll find out. We'll see how, how much they flatten down. But I'm not gonna make a second batch. That's just gonna be overkill. I'll probably get at least three dozen out of this mix so i'm gonna go ahead and clean all this up i kind of left it out because i want to make sure you know if i was going to do a second batch i didn't want to put it all up so i'm just going to clean this up real quick while those are baking and then we will give them a test at the end i did watch jen from cook clean and repeat i watched a video today and she made these cookies where she added pretzel it was like chocolate chip cookies and she added pretzel pieces and coconut sounds so good but i don't know how people are about coconut but i thought about adding like some crushed pretzels into part of it i might do that I might have um, some with that and some, we'll see how they turn out and then I might add that to the second half of the dough and we'll see if it's any good. It sounds amazing, so. the verdict is they're amazing <laughs> I don't know if it's because I haven't had an actual real sugar for, sugar full chocolate chip cookie in over a year I think but so good it's like the the uh, cookie part is very light and fluffy crispy on the outside chewy on the inside probably because it's shortening and butter so good and I put the chocolate chunks and chocolate chips in it and then in that second batch I put like a probably half cup of crushed pretzels and so I definitely want to taste that and see see how that tastes I'm sure it's equally delicious but it made a ton I've already made four pans of eight cookies each and there's like at least two more pans in here so that makes a lot so I'll definitely type it down below if you're looking for a good homemade chocolate chip cookie recipe very good I mean it's hard to say if it's the best one because like all ch chocolate chip cookies are delicious these are good the pretzels are delicious you get like a bite of salty crunchy pretzel with the chocolate the salt and the sweet together so good I would definitely recommend adding pretzels to your chocolate chip cookies I know some people would say why mess with a good thing and I get it but that is so good and sometime when I'm not making them for like well I won't be making I never make chocolate chip cookies anymore well, maybe if I make like a healthier version I want to add the coconut and see with coconut and pretzels because like when they bake they that would toast the coconut sounds so good but these are amazing so I'm gonna eat this one and then I'm done I'm gonna save these for everybody tomorrow for the party but it made like four two four six six pans of eight so six times eight is 48 cookies so that's pretty good for one batch like if I'd have made two it would have been 100 cookies <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go ahead and say good night for now thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope that you enjoyed this vlog I'm trying to read comments um, from today's vlog and y'all were all saying I don't care what you post we want you to post you know because I was saying sometimes you know this is just the same thing over and over again but um, I'm so glad that you feel like it's 
you know, visiting with a friend. One of you, one comment I read said, it's like, I'm your neighbor and we like talk at the fence and just catch up for the day and then, you know, go on. And I was, I loved that. I was like, that's exactly what it would be like. So catching up, you know, just saying, hey, what's going on? So anyway, that is it. Today's Tuesday. Tomorrow I will be vlogging again. It's Madison's birthday. So we'll be, uh, I'll be decorating the cake. I'm excited to show you what the cake is going to look like and we're gonna have a party and it's gonna be fun so thanks for hanging out make sure you come back tomorrow i love you guys give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one bye bye